everybody, it's Oksana and today I'm going to show you how to make this cabochon right here out of resin using nail polish. So if you want to see how to make it, then just keep watching. So all you do is you take your parchment paper and you take your nail polish and you just drip it onto the parchment paper. And once you're done, here's my little blobby. You just take like a toothpick or something and you make little swirly designs. Like that and then you wait for this to completely dry which may take a while because it's a pretty thick layer of nail polish so just leave it for a few hours and check back on it. Once it is thoroughly dry you just want to peel it off and mine's a little different looking because <laughs> the paper got blown by the wind so it changed my pattern a little bit because it was still wet when that happened. Alright, so now you should have something like this. So what you want to do now, this little marbled nail polish sheet, is you want to cut it to the shape and size that you want. So for example, and I have a video on how to make this little mold, this little cheap <laughs> uh, resin cabochon mold. Um, if I want to make a round one like this, and I already made one and I know this you know, size, I can just kind of trace it on. Um, if you don't have a ready-made one that you can kind of measure, then you're just going to have to eyeball it and guess and try your best to cut it <laughs> the right shape and size. Now you can either do a circle like this, so it's just kind of covering the entire back, or you can kind of make it smaller, like if you want to just do half or something like that, or cut out a little shape out of it to put in there, a little heart or something, totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and try to cut as close to the circle as possible. I do want it to be a tiny bit smaller than the circle so it doesn't sit on the very, very top, but just a little bit like here so I can put resin on top of it and kind of seal this inside of my resin. All right, so here's my little circle that I cut out. If I put it in, Just kind of sits in there, not all the way at the top. There might be some slight little gaps because I was just cutting this by hand. I didn't have a sample cabochon to trace. Um, and that's fine because I'm going to do a background. I'm going to pour uh, maybe some black resin um, after I set this. I'm going to do clear resin. I'll show you guys. And then, you know, I'll put this in. I'll wait for that to kind of set and put black resin. So the background will be covered. You're not going to see the little um, gaps or anything. So go ahead and prepare your resin. I'm using art resin and I have that sitting in a hot water bath right now. Make sure no water gets in there of course <laughs> um, just so it gets rid of bubbles. All right so ignore all the other things that I have going on here. I'm taking this and I poured a little bit of resin in there as you can see and I'm just setting on there. If you have tweezers or like a little toothpick or something and you want to kind of center it a little bit you can do that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more resin and if you want to tint your resin you probably want to wait a few hours so it doesn't mix into the clear resin, doesn't seep in there. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm pouring clear resin on top. i wait a minute for that to just spread out over that nail polish bit. And now I'm taking some alcohol ink. This is just a nice color to match. the color of the nail polish and this way the alcohol ink is not going to flow down to the bottom and get underneath that little nail polish um, slice <laughs> that we have there. This is the ink I'm using. 
the color stream. Um, this way we have a nice tinted background and in those little areas, if I didn't cut a perfectly circular circle, um, you're not gonna see, it's not gonna be as obvious. It's just all gonna be kind of tinted back there. So I'll show you guys what that looks like when it's all done. So here is the finished product after it has cured. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.